What's up? I wanted to talk about the subs that I made this encoder for. This is a this is going in a um, I think it's the guy's name. Ooh. Brent Peters. This is his three JL audio W six twelves. And I wanted to talk about that subwoof down. Maybe I might get one for the channel down in the future. Cause you know I'm messing with the twelves now. Any twelve that I feel like getting show you the performance you can do. And then ask give somebody a chance to get it for me with an enclosure for it. Uh what I like about the J Audio W six and it, it and it really shows you just how you could be confused by the size of a magnet and think a, a subwoof is superior than another because it can play in a smaller box volume. And you see this huge magnet. The JLW6 motor is very, very strong. Let me explain something to you about J Audio technology, just respecting one of the, one of the godfathers of cardio, arguably. J Audio kicking falls here. Uh, J Audio has a technology that they use in making they, their woofers, and I try to explain to you on my, on my channel. It has, look, the size of the magnet is nominal in its effect. Nominal, on average. Nominal is a key ingredient. No, it's not nominal. It's a key ingredient, but it's something else besides the magnet. That top plate, that bot plate, that back, that back pole plate, the, back, the pole piece and the top plate, and how they interact with the windings of the voice coil. How much force of that magnet can you generate in your design in the gap? Because that's what you're listening to. Technically, you're listening to the gap. The, the, it's basically what, they, what the word fuck means. The cone, the voice coil, being fucked by the pole piece. Not meaning in a graphic word, but that's the, that's the term. The, the term where the word came, actually came from. Up and down, all right? A lot of my viewers and y'all trick my when y'all see a large subwoof and you think that it's better than another one because of the size of the magnet solely. What you see, you think girth means growth means greatness, and it's not. And the JDRW6 is a testament to that because if you want to say with my subwoof or sundown or scar or I don't know another name which I use uh, can play in a. 1.3 box. I mean, in the two key box, that's real small. Is that really small when a JLW612 can play in 1.3? And most of the time, when you look at these competitors, they tell you what they sell can play in. They give you this broad range, and you put it, you put it, and most times I found that when you put, when you put the numbers in Base Box Pro 6, for example, you wind up finding that you can put it in even bigger box than what they said. And since it's big, moving in such a, a bigger box, it's going to have even stiffer suspension. Uh, so your strength that you're saying that the motor has is not as strong as you it's not as strong as you think it is. But they give you a fair number for you to to so you can't damage your, their product and and have I for a warranty claim. Well, when you type in J Audio. TS parameters, what they say they what they're gonna come off the shelf with. Some people that say they want a DAP machine, it'd be right on the money. Uh come off the line. I mean, don't be too far away. And when you put their parameters in, you find out that they'd be right on the money. <laughs> when you put it in all the programs, it'd be right on the money with them J Audios. And that's why a lot of people J Audios, a lot of guys say they don't like it because uh well, well, you don't like them, number one, because you're trying to run a Mercedes on 87 octane. And that's what you get when you got J Audio W6. Yeah, you see, I put all these affordable budget cells them up, but I got respect for the big boy. And J Audio W6 is a big boy sub. Very strong. Let me read you the, the stuff that they, see if you can go near any of these other new boys, flop guys on the block. I take nothing away from them. Just see if you, and see if you can find 
anything even remotely similar to what JL is talking about. Uh, and it can back it up with numerous award shows, trophies, cardio. I mean, everyone, you might say you might not like because of the price, uh, but you can't knock their performance. It's like trying to knock a fall game out for output. Huh? <laughs> you serious? All right, let's look at this. Look at, I, want, I wanted to read you this. This, 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 this right here is what the DMA optimized. Dynamic motor analysis. Dynamic, you know, static means to keep something still. Dynamic means in motion. Uh, J Audio has a dynamic motion Allen's motor. They study their motor while it's moving, not while it's standing still. Let me read what they say. J Audio's proprietary dynamic motor analysis system is a powerful suite of the bottom melon system based from developed back in 1997. Y'all know J Audio don't sound for all everybody knows that. But if you know what you're doing, you can surprise the DB to get out of them too. They don't need a lot of power to get loud. They do not. They talking about clean power. Clean power be dirty power any day. Watch the video. Uh, there was the front front in 1997 J Audio has been at the forefront of the finite element analysis. And that's what everybody used. If you look at the uh, anybody, Scar, uh, uh, Kicker, uh, Sundown, most all of them, Fire, everybody uses finite element analysis. Finite, finite. Not infinite and moving finite in one spot. Element analysis, based modeling software, motors, and suspension. It's aimed at decoding what we refer to as a loudspeaker genome. Okay. In in 19, starting with the 15W3 and the W7 subwoofers in the late 90s, DMA, uh, okay, no, 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 my bad. The major component of that FEA system is the integrate is the DM dynamic motor analysis with J with J Audio so they focus their attention on. It is a finite element analysis based system meaning that it takes a large, complex problem and breaks it down to small elements and then, and then it analyzes those to form an accurate big picture. But the DMA breakthrough is that it actually considers the effects of power going through the coal as well as the coil and the cone position within the framework of the town of the name Allen, which is basically the basket. And, with, and the time it takes for the cone and the coil to go through the motor at different stages the DMA analyzes that in the FMA. It is the DMA. DM, the DMA is a it, it is a finite element analysis based system. It's based in what they use. What everybody say they got an FEA optimized motor. It's based in that, meaning that it takes the different parts of a complex problem. It is similar to the FEA optimized motors that everybody uses at the bottom of the they spectrum sheet. J Audio saying, yeah, it, it's based in that, and that, yeah, we take all these different elements and come with what would happen, what would happen, what would happen, this we need to do this, this we need to do this, to kind of that, to kind of that, and then see how it all works together, and boom, that's their modeling software. That's what everybody uses. Everybody. Kick up, my beloved, my beloved, uh, 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 any set of you can name. They all use a FEA optimized motor, 16 millimeter Kepler verified. J Audio says that their dynamic motor out of the system dynamic we take all we do all that and then we also look and see how it does why it's in motion and how that changes ah that wasn't the smoke detector <laughs> that was the alarm to let me know if i'm gonna have to you know let somebody know i'm an american citizen around here uh so the f so the dma is why that technology, just the first technology they tell you about. They got some old technology in the cooling system, elevated platforms, and all that stuff there that people are using. But they've been using since 19, 2001, 2000. They're using now, so we got space between the basket and the motor. Like, that's something new. Yeah, but look, all these technologies, all these guys, y'all be screaming about these stuff. We're acting like this some brand new stuff. Go look at it. Go look at the three boys. Look at the three boys. It's, it's baskets that some companies use today that Kicker went away with in 2009. 
Look at that kick of CVA's back in 2009, and then go find out where it's at now. Yeah, you're hating kicking, you need your buying kicker. And they went away from that bass design, they using it now. So anyway, this that's the point I'm trying to make you understand, so you'll be lying and not shoot. J-Audio uses that DMA mode analysis, that's why they subwoofers are so accurate. Because they test and they cheat the why it's moving. <laughs> But, and then they can make the motor so powerful. They can, they got, uh, this is a three Q box. No, this is a right at four Q box. 3.9 Q box, tuned to 33 hertz for three twelves. That is a two twelve range. Four cubes. Four cubes. Less airspace than in that box. Five cubes. Five cubes with two twelves. Three four cubes for two for for three twelves. Come on, man. Hey, you wanna know who got a stronger motor? Five cubes. Two sundown X twelves. Two and thirty-three. Four cubes. Three twelve J Audio W six. We know these gonna sound a whole lot better. Them gonna have distortion and give you some noise over there, true. He gonna sound excellent. Excellent. Because they have the money to do more with their analysis. They have boom. They have the money to pay for the people to look at their motor a different way and tell them something different to do. Oh, yeah, and they only weigh 25 pounds a piece. <laughs> Efficient, light, strong. I just had to put that up here, man. Brent Preeters, this is your box, man. This is me ranting. Some of y'all going to disagree with me. Some of y'all not going to disagree with me. It is what it is. Uh, stain is black. And we'd be on the way, but this is you, Brent, right here, man. You you have been immortalized. I got to show how beautiful this boy is, too. Let me make sure. Should I put my finger over the, over the, over the camera? Yeah, no. Yeah, I did put my finger over the camera. Yeah, yeah retard. Oh, look at that. Oh, we keep, oh, we go. Brent say, man, you already put him in my video one time. Keep him on my video. There you go. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, look at that, man. Yeah, it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look nice, boy. Boy, it's gonna look nice, boy. Yeah. Hey, baby, where you at? Let me, let me see. Looking like a government check, girl. Yes, Lord. All right, y'all. You trying to get on the camera? You want to see? No. no you no. keep walking, they're gonna see. Oh, yeah, yeah. You got planned out, huh? Let me see them five. Woo. See y'all later. Time to take the voice coil. <laughs>